Okay, this is already relatable. You know, her point is valid too. That's fine. It's a cute little lobby. What just happened? This just multiplied and, and, and... Too sick. The hidden life of metalheads. Now, I'm a poser, so I can't relate to this, but I'm excited to see what we got here. This species is known as a metalhead. She's bound dead to bed, but she's waking up. Okay, this is already relatable. She's contemplating existence. <laughs> Odd indeed, but essential ritual for them. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. It's too early to walk too far in search of food. Mm -hmm. She makes her coffee, listening to what we're going to call a ferret metal jam, getting ready for deli pursuits. <laughs> she starts... <laughs> I can maybe relate to the rest. I don't I don't I don't do karate in my chair as I drink, but that's that's fine to each their own. Question herself. Does she want to venture out? To no, no one wants to. Fuck the outside. I'm literally allergic to grass and trees, so no. Dangerous and bright out there. True. Metalheads can be omnivorous. Observing the outside from a safe distance, this individual is eating the first random thing she discovered. <laughs> that's, I guess, that's pretty relatable. <laughs> it's bath time. Certain no, no, dude. I don't want. No, that's weird, man. I don't want to think of cleaning my guitar as bath time now. Nah, no, nah, that's weird. I'm never gonna forget that. Now I'm gonna be picking up my guitar and be like, "Hey, it's bath time, buddy." Oh no, that's one of those things I wish I never heard. You know, because it's just it's it's just gonna fuck me up forever now. Oh, God. Okay. Species of metalheads don't even bath. Other, <laughs> even bath their musical <laughs> possessions. Like this one. Yeah. Metalhead's success is often tied to the collective strength of the pack. No, it's tied to how high of a chance the vocalist is going to get cancelled. That's how you determine the strength of modern bands. But, uh, you know, her point is valid, too. That's fine. Yet most of them are loners. Our hero is no exception. The She's lobster. talking to her only friend. It's relatable. It's a cute little lobby. And this is how her day goes until... Oh? What's that? Danger? Is it pop music? A wild accordion. The most lethal hunter in the music world. Out of all the things she... <laughs> Out of all the instruments, why the accordion? Wait, what? Out of all the the the, the, an, the sins of metal instruments, why the accordion? <laughs> okay. With no regard for her own safety, she's ready to face it. Ouch! Here comes a retribution for her curiosity. Oh, she's no. trying to escape. So stupid! I love it. What? A lone metalhead is always at risk of attack. But nobody... This just... What just happened? This just multiplied and, and, and I feel like I just skipped like three expansions. You can defy the laws of nature. And also, you've learned to not f*** with an accordion. Honestly, pretty accurate docu-series. I'm surprised it wasn't actually on Nat Geo. They just have stupid things about dinosaurs and stuff on there. I mean, History Channel has Pawn Stars. So, like, at least this is actually accurate. I, I don't know. I could see it on History Channel, Nat Geo, either or. Uh, too sick, too sitch. Too sitches. Dude, what is Josh... Jesus fucking Christ. All right, Josh is having an exorcism. I love it. 